10 must have assets. And gold and silver are number nine. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. This video is about the 10 must have assets, especially in our uh, current situation we're in, uh, the world we live in, the craziness we're seeing. These 10 things are very important in my opinion. And the first one is food and water. Basic sustenance here, folks. Core to your survival, more than anything else. Well, oh, maybe not more than breathing, but you know, that's pretty much free. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and, and some of you might say, wait a minute, wait, is this a prepping video, Yankee? <laughs> no, it isn't, not specifically. But uh, again, these are assets, very important. And the first one, food and water. Oof, you can't underestimate these two. I mean, think about it. If you, you, you still have faith in our supply chain, do you, <laughs> if you do, you, you need to, to wake up. It, it's called a just-in-time supply chain. And by just-in-time, I mean just-insane to rely solely on. So get some food and a second source of water. You know, whether you store it or you have a well or, you know, some sort of filtration system for water that's in your area, please, food and water. First, must-have asset. Second, shelter both for yourself, your family, and as an investment. Okay, well, we're, we're home a lot, right? <laughs> During this uh, uh, medical crisis we're in. But have you looked around your home recently? Have you considered, you know, what needs to be fixed? What needs to be improved? I mean, shoot, we didn't, we didn't have a, a hot water heater <laughs> when we moved into uh, Yankee's house, my wife and I. We had the furnace. That's it. That was the only thing heating our water. Well, you know, we had three three kids uh, using hot water. Well, that didn't work. So we upgraded, and we you know, we just recently fixed our roof and and did other things. Shelter, such an important asset. If you're going to be improving your house, I'd be curious to know. Put it put put it in the comments below. Um, and even if you're renting, have you thought about how important it is to to have a safe sanitized place to live it sure is important shelter is a must-have asset it 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 may be hard for for many of you to own a house but it's critical to have shelter some actually say a home is a uh, more of a liability than an asset i've had that comment before well it's true if you have a jumbo mortgage or, or, or you owe more than your property is worth, well, yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> it, can be, it can be a money pit too. I, I get that. <laughs> but um, if that's not the case, if, if, if you actually have quite a bit of equity in your house, you can actually use that equity to increase your wealth. And if that's the case, I contend that it's an asset. If you're new to my channel, you, you might not know that I primarily invest in what's called private mortgage lending, uh, you know, promissory notes, if you will, backed by real estate as collateral, tangible assets like we all love in our precious metals. Well, now, not all real estate is created equal. You can lose your shirt on stuff like, uh, you know, high priced or high rent properties, uh, undeveloped land, commercial properties, um, even single family or, or, or duplexes uh, during a recession can be uh, quite dangerous. <laughs> you got to do your due diligence here. And that's why I'm specifically calling this shelter. Uh, n not, home, not houses, not real estate or whatever. Shelter. People always need that. Think lower rent multi-family properties. This is the great must-have asset, in my opinion. Number three, really quick, land. Okay, land. I, I bet you a bunch of you listening to this video have some really uh, decent land, maybe more than I do. If you have access to land, it's great. You can grow food, you can build structures. I mean, it's a, a great asset. 
Number four is power, whether it be uh, a gas generator or a more sustainable uh, solar panel grid. Consider spending some of your fiat currency on this asset. We all need power. Whether you want to you know, power your cell phone or, or light your house, it's important to have a second source of power. Number five. Well, let me, uh, let me just do this. <laughs> I sandwiched this asset in the middle. <laughs> and I'm not going to say too much about it. Other than the fact that our Second Amendment is more than an asset. It's a blessing our country's founders gave us in our Constitution. And we must exercise that right regularly. Think of it, think of it like a muscle. If you don't use it, you'll lose it, right? And, and it's really, really important. In fact, uh, check this quote out. There are only nine meals between mankind and anarchy. Okay, that, that, that is admittedly rather dark, but it, I believe it's true. And other people have echoed his uh, sentiments. People like, uh, you know, Robert Heinlein and, and, and Leon Trotsky and others, they say, yeah, it, it's true. You take away food, well... Yeah, we need to protect ourselves. We also need to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. I mean, think about it. A tyrannical government is largely kept in check when its citizenry is armed. I'm not saying we should, you know, revolt. There should be a revolution or anything. But it's important for us to exercise our Second Amendment rights. Now, I'm done with that. I'm just going to, like, flip those over and let them roll away. <laughs> So that was number five, right? So number six, knowledge and skills. This is, a, this is a soft asset, if you will, but it's critical, okay? Your greatest asset in many ways, it's what's left of your right ear and right of your left ear, okay? <laughs> it's, it's, it's important that we don't get stuck in a... Uh, a dying industry or field. Think think back to the buggy whip industry. Back when horse and carriage were everything, you know, the turn of the century. And and think about those who built their careers around that. They sold buggy whips. What happened when the horseless carriage came around? The car. Well, <laughs> they're out of business. They they couldn't compete. They weren't needed. People lost their jobs. Now, of course, if we had had a Federal Reserve during that time and a government like the one we have now, we'd probably have, you know, bailed out the buggy whip industry and, you know, sent stimulus checks to uh, all the buggy whip employees. I don't know, whatever. But, <laughs> but, the, but the point is this. Progress, innovation, you need to retool and re-educate yourself now more than ever. So let's move on. Number seven, health and fitness. As we all know, the uh, current medical crisis we're in is really hitting the old and those with uh, pre-existing conditions, uh, you know, weaknesses. But, but, but understand this, many risk factors can be mitigated by things that we're in control of, by r reducing your weight, by improving key health factors, you know, getting exercise, staying fit. This is a must-have asset, your health. As best as you can control it. You, know, you can't control your, your, your genes, you, you know, your, your, what your parents have had. But what you can control is so important, especially now that we're, you know, at home. Get outside. Get some exercise. Walk around the neighborhood. I just biked 24 miles yesterday. I'm 54. I felt it when I got back because I'm a little bit out of shape from the winter. But I, I, biking, I love it. If we face a collapse, or when we face a collapse in our economy, when an SHTF situation arises, those who are healthy and fit will be the ones to have the best chance of surviving. That was number seven. Number eight. I can't get all my fingers in here. Number eight. <laughs> Stocks. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Yankee, those of you who know me go, wait a minute. I thought you said you were out of the stock market. 
Well, yeah, I, I have uh, gotten out of the U.S. stock market, um, by and large. But what if you're trapped in a 401k or an IRA and you don't have a lot of flexibility here? You, you, you need to invest in stocks and bonds, equities, and so forth. So I, what, what do you do? Well, remember, you can speculate all you want. But my father taught me something and I'll never forget. It's, he said, it's not what you make it's what you keep. That applies to so many areas of life, like your income, uh, taxes, uh, paper profits in the stock market, <laughs> the value and purchasing power of your currency. So, so in a world where everyone is chasing what I believe is a falling knife in the U.S. equities markets, be a contrarian. Look for places that other people aren't you know, going into, and I, I say this, run to the place where everybody else is running away from. So I'm going to give you, you know, areas of stocks where I think you could consider investing in. Um, the first one is commodities. Check this uh, chart out. You can see how well consumer staple stocks have done in a recession. So you might want to, you know, get out of the fangs some, and you know, or at least you know, lower your, your exposure there and, 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 you know, cut some of your, uh, or take some of your profits, if you have any, and get into more recession-protected uh, equities. So there's one. Gold and silver mining stocks, all right, or, or more, actually more specifically, mining and, and streaming stocks. It all depends on your risk tolerance, all right? These, these are considerably more speculative, so you got to be careful here. But, but I think this is a uh, undervalued asset that is poised to explode. We, we are currently in an energy crisis too. And remember that um, a drop in oil prices or, you know, or energy in general is tremendously bullish for an industry that relies heavily on energy to perform its business. So in other words, low cost in oil <laughs> translates directly into higher profit margins. Number nine, precious metals. Mm. That's right. Gold and silver. Right now, I'd have to say gold, then silver. Now, I know this is going to really jack some people up, but gold is the base of my stack. Silver, okay, is my speculative precious metal and primarily focused on the future case for barter. Okay, not, not initially, <laughs> but months after a complete collapse, I'm looking at silver and gold as potential barter. But I'm not dissing silver here. I, I'm just saying that I have, you know, created my foundation in gold, building up quite a bit of silver, shifted recently back into gold, trying to get these uh, quarter ounce gold maple leaves up to a musket, <laughs> a Yankee musket. And then, before long, I'm going to be shifting back into silver. We'll tell you exactly when that's coming, but it is coming. And uh, I, I want to keep both gold and silver. I get laughed at sometimes. You really think this is going to be barter? Come on. Well, you know, I do. I think this is going to be remonetized. Might not be the only thing that is used for money in the future, but I do believe we're going to go back to our roots and it will be gold and silver. So precious metals, obviously, guys, key asset for a lot of different reasons. You don't have to be a prepper stacker like Yankee to be wanting this stuff as one of your top 10 must-have assets. And number 10, let me just show you this. It's cash. But only for the short term, okay? This is something you really need to have at home. In your hand, again, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. So you need this in a crisis, okay? I don't believe it's going to be important in a full, uh, you know, a sovereign debt collapse, but you're going to need this. So make sure you have this asset. Yeah, it's a fiat, you know, piece of paper, but... It is what we transact in. And so you really do need to have it. You know, 
like I always say, be the bank. Keep this in reserve. Keep your investment powder dry, okay? So so having cash, even if it's in your IRA, smart, smart move. You, you might be able to get some great bargains if you move more of your assets into cash. And no, I didn't forget crypto. <laughs> I left it off the list intentionally. If you want Yankee to uh, do a video on Bitcoin, what I think of cryptocurrencies, exactly, uh, you know, what my uh, future prognostication is around cryptocurrencies, <laughs> leave a comment. I do want to gauge the interest in that. But that's it. The 10 must-have assets that you need right now. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope your day is a-okay.